Hey friends, you are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we're going to do a little design space tutorial. So I want to show you how to go out and grab JPEGs and bring those into Cricut Design Space and clean them up. So I have a good friend who loves Snoopy um, and guess what's not in Cricut Design Space? <laughs> Snoopy! So I wanted to make something for her, um, so I just went out and grabbed some images and actually I grabbed one that was a design that was on a t-shirt um, and then I grabbed another one that was a cleaner file and I'm going to bring those both into Cricut Design Space and show you how to clean those up and make those perfect for either print then cut or cut. So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space. Let me show you what that's all about. And then um, I am actually going to create these into something um, in my very next video. So I, if you've not already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future tutorials. And let's get over to Cricut Design Space. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and I've just opened up a new canvas. And basically what we want to do is we want to pull in or upload those JPEGs that I found out on the internet. And, and I do have to warn you for copyright reasons, this would have to be something that you were making for yourself, not something that you would be, you know, selling or doing anything like that with. Okay, so you go to Pinterest or Google or wherever and you search for images of Snoopy and I have found two and you can see that I have two here, but I'm going to show you how to do these from beginning to end. So just go wherever you grab that image. I'm going to first bring this one in and you can see that, you know, it's got some pieces around it and you're like, well, I can't cut that. No, you can't. It's okay. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to hit moderately complex. It probably could have just been simple, but then I'm going to hit continue. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller so you can see it. Okay, so here's Snoopy. What we want to do is go up and get the magic wand tool and we are just going to click in all of these areas around Snoopy and so you see there is this down at the bottom see how it it took it all out except for one little piece and it's really hard to get with that magic tool so then you could go to the eraser tool and just be really careful around his feet but clean that up and then go up to the top and I want to say that there is like a line up at the top too so um, whenever you're doing this, it's just, you know, be as careful as you can, but get as much of it as you can too. So let's hit preview. So I'm thinking there is something up there. So I'm just going to use my erase tool and just make sure that I'm getting it all. Okay, so I actually want to cut Snoopy out as an outline. So I'm going to go back. And then I am actually going to take out all of these center elements. Make him a little bit smaller again, just to make sure that we're getting everything. Okay, and so I think he's clean. So then what we can do is we hit continue. And so it's gonna give you two options. You're going to be able to have this cut image or you're gonna be able to do print then cut. Now for this one, I would suggest doing the cut because it's very clean. There's just that one you know, element of him and then you can always turn it to print then cut if you want to once you get in there. So I'm gonna rename this Snoopy Dancing just so I can find it if I need to. I'm gonna upload. Okay, so see I was right. Yes, there was something there because I loaded that one earlier and I'm just gonna delete that one. And so now I have this guy. Okay, and then the other one is this Life is Good. So let's upload him real quick and see what he looks like. We'll go back. Okay, and so I, this one I'm going to say uh, moderately complex as well. And then we'll hit continue. Make him just a smidge smaller. Okay, so make sure you use that magic tool for all that surrounding area. And when you're doing lettering, make sure that you go in and you get inside of each of those letters. And then I'm going to take out this in the back seat of his Jeep. Um, and then this around his head here too. Okay, and so this is his windshield. So I guess I'll leave that. Um, and then I could take out his headlight if I wanted to. But basically you go in and you just clean up as much 
or as little as you want, making sure that you get inside of the lettering and things. Okay, so let's hit continue. Okay, so what it's going to do for a cut image on something like this, it's just going to give you the outline. But if you go with a print then cut, then this is going to give you all the full color. And so let's do, we'll rename it to Snoopy Jeep. And we're going to select print then cut and upload. Okay, so now once we have those, let's test them out by grabbing them both and inserting them into a project. So you see this guy, he's huge. That's great, actually. Um, and so what we want to do is click off of them so that you can separate them. And look, that looks really, really good. So this would be great for stickers if you wanted to do print then cut um, or printable vinyl um, if you wanted to put that on um, to notebooks or just, you know, sticker, anything like that. Um, it's also great for sublimation. So if you wanted to put this onto a coffee mug or a tumbler, or if you wanted to put it onto a t-shirt, anything like that, you would be able to do that. And so this guy right here, you would be able to use him as, as cut. So you're going to be able to do a lot more with him. So you're going to be able to use iron on or vinyl or, um, I mean, you could do sublimation with him. You could do infusible ink with him. Um, you can do all kinds of things with him and he is absolutely huge, which is great. Okay. So I wanted just to make sure that you guys knew that this was possible when you cannot find an image in Cricut Design Space that you want to work with, you can go in and find JPEGs and clean them up and be able to craft with them. Okay, so I hope you thought that was helpful. So to be able to go out and grab an image, even a picture of something, and then be able to bring it into Cricut Design Space and clean that up so that you can use it for a craft is pretty powerful. Um, so I hope that you will join me for all my future videos and I will see you guys next time.